at this time, you know, dogs so young, they don't need a pinch collar, they don't need a, too much abrasive stuff, you know. What you really want to do at this age is use a lot of luring. Um, you want to really try to train the dog and work the dog in isolation. And I'll show you some of the techniques that we do working with puppies to basically really get them engaged at a young age. So even when you do take them into public or start training, the dog will already see you as the, the most important and have a lot of value for your leadership already. The couple of main pieces of equipment I keep around is gonna be my 15 foot line. This is gonna be a six foot line. This is gonna be a basic ball. We like to use the ball for a lot of motivation. Uh, basic flat collar, you know, you can put tags on or just to have a collar on, usually for identification. For some of my young working dogs, I uh, get a, a harness for the puppies. You don't want to pull on their neck too much. Uh, you just put them on a harness uh, if they're not comfortable walking on the leash right away. And this keeps them from trying to slide out of the leash. You know, here are a couple other tugs. And there's a flat tug and here's a roll tug. And these just are good for a little bit of tug of war and reward for doing great behavior. Flat tug on a string so he can play a little chase. So these are all toys that keep the dog stimulated and keep us interacting and having a good time. So what's really important is even if you have just one dog, uh, you know, you, you want to make sure that you have several toys because certain toys uh, go missing, <laughs> some toys uh, have higher value than others, and sometimes it's good to just switch it up because it gives the dog a variety of things that it can have fun with. So basically all of these tools are good for training and it's pretty much the essentials that you need if you're going to take a dog, especially a dog with drive, and give him a job. Yeah. So right now I'm just playing a little tug game with my dog. Cool. Oh boy. And the puppies, if you ever want them to get them to release a toy, just lift up on their stomach a little bit now. They'll, they'll let it go. So when we want to say do a retrieve, once we build enough value for the toy, we basically just throw it but we keep the dog on a line, so once they go get it, we can bring them back. Good boy, bring. Good boy, bring. Good hold. And now for a retrieve, you can take advantage of, uh, you know, balls and tugs without having to do so much walking. You can get the dog to chase the ball. Now I have my leash, so I can actually guide the dog right back in. Good job. And from time to time, give your dog water because they do get hot when they work hard for you. This is a little lure exercise I use with treats. Good come. Good come. Heel. Good heel. Good boy. Good sit. So you see I'm not uh, asking the dog to do much. I'm just letting him do it and marking what he's doing. And the term marking means just marking the behavior that I actually like. So good down. Good down. So as he's down, I'm just telling him what he's doing. Good down. And that's what marking is. Teaching your dog marker training basically shows the dog that you are reinforcing the behaviors that you like. So naturally he's doing do certain behaviors and you're just telling him that that's something you like, which he'll then see that it's desirable and he'll be looking for a reward. So it's very important to have rewards when you're doing marker training. Again, let your dog show you that he knows. Don't necessarily have to push him into the position all right away. Let him show you that he knows and let him kind of figure it out. The opposite of that would be say, for instance, say a dog jumping or barking, you would want to make a nice firm no and then hopefully with the young dog that usually gets their attention. And by saying the word no when the dog is doing the wrong thing, it allows the dog to see that there is a good and a bad. And if you're very clear with that, then the dog will know his place. And when he hears no, he'll most likely stop the behavior that he's doing because he'll see that it's not desirable and it doesn't get reward. And it's very good to start at a young age because the older the dog gets, the more hard-headed he becomes.